first, sir, I want to thank you so much for coming in and sitting down with us, and I'm totally fine with distorting your look and your voice so nobody in the industry knows exactly who you are. But I do have a few questions, if you don't mind. Why would you switch from Canon to Fuji? I've, I've just been so let down by Canon. I feel like it forced me to, uh, to look into other situations that uh, I may need to be getting into. Is it true that you do not miss full frame? Or be honest. No. I thought I would. I really did. I thought I was going to find reasons for missing full frame. But as far as beautiful images, sharp, bokeh, I'm getting all the same things. Just buy the right lenses for what you're used to, and there's nothing to miss. Do you consider yourself a traitor, and will you ever come back to Canon? No. I consider myself an American with rights to purchase any goods that I feel like. As long as the money I earn, 30% goes back to the government. That's all I know. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to be done with this interview. Oh man, look, I am really, really happy with the decision that I did make. And one of the things that really, really deterred me from making any kind of new purchase of any other kind of brand is your lenses. Now, I do have that Fringer adapter um, coming in a few days, so that review will be in another week or so. However, we need to talk about this guy. This 16 millimeter 1.4, I'm all about renting equipment to see if I like it before I buy it, especially when it's a very expensive purchase. I have to say though, compared to my old Canon lenses, if I were to buy a 1.4 Canon lens of any size, it would, it would be way up there, okay? And I was very worried that these smaller these smaller lenses, could they give me the same that I'm used to with Canon? And I have to be honest, I, I don't miss a thing. There's nothing I really miss. The, the sharpness on this lens is ridiculous, but because of the autofocusing on the Fuji system, and I'm sure the Sony's have great autofocusing too, so they're, they're both probably in the same range as this, but I'm gonna tell you about my Fuji X-T3 experience. Because of the assistance with the face focusing whether left eye right eye just the face or just the square but focus oh by the way find the face while you're on the square this camera really is amazing i can photograph at 1.4 and actually get workable images more often than not truth my favorite canon lens was my 85 1.8 and whenever i used to shoot at 1.8 it always made me nervous because I don't know, the focusing wasn't as tight as this, it didn't track as good. I had to really truly work my equipment to get the shots that I did do. These days, I am capturing images way easier. I'm having more fun because I'm not having to look down to every image that I shoot to make sure it's in focus or sharp or is it, is it even on the face. It's happening. It's happening. And today I want to show you some images from this 16 millimeter lens. And let me explain to you the goodness and the usability of how I've been using it and why this really is the be all of lenses for Fuji. I cannot believe, first of all, you do know that this is a crop sensor camera, okay? So if the 16 millimeter, you're not really getting 16 mil. You're getting more than that. I'm bad at math. Let's just say it's a, let's just say it's close to a 20, 23, okay? That's totally fine. What I love about this lens is the simple fact that I can get really good images on the fly. It focuses great. 
But this is the really cool thing that nobody really talks about is I thought it was macro. It's not macro. You can just get very, very close to your subjects. Let me show you some images here. These images were from the 16 millimeter lens and I am just really, really close. When I mean really, really close, now the lens that's on the camera right now is the kit lens that I'm using. So if this lens was on that camera, I can literally be here, here. Yeah, that's what these lenses are. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, would you want to get so close? Because a wide angle lens that close usually crazy, crazily, it usually distorts and makes things look eh, not so great. I have not had that problem with this camera. It's like anything else. If the plane of your subject, or how you're aiming, as long as you're even with your subject, you normally don't get the wackiness unless you're throwing things off kilter to make it look that way. But these images are this lens just really close. Now, the cool thing is, like these rings, all I have to do is crop later. We're talking about how do we use this lens on jobs, on real life usability events. Whether you're doing weddings, where you're doing events, where you're doing candids, I don't care if it's high school seniors, it doesn't matter. It's the simple fact that you're moving in and out, you're getting very close to your subject. And knowing that I can get really close, like silly close, that I'll never get this close to somebody's face, but to know that I can work my room and this thing can handle it just fine. That's what I like about this lens so much. What I'm showing you is how I use the lens and why I love it. It's the usability that I was looking for in reviews when I was finding things on Fuji, Sony, Nikon, and Canon. It's the usability. I wanted somebody to show me not just a review of the specs because I can get that on a thousand videos. And I need those thousand videos to be honest, okay? Nobody stop making those videos. Baron, I love your videos, dude. I need those specs, but I like usability. I want somebody to show me, hey, this is how I use it in a working condition. Here's wedding work for me working. This is amazing. I can work faster than before because it works better than before. That's what I was just trying to get with the new system. If you're basing your purchase off of image stabilization, I don't, I don't really get that. If you're doing video, I get it. But as a photographer, great, wonderful, awesome, master mm, photographers from the past, man, who were film, did not have image stabilization. They sure as heck couldn't see their image without using a Polaroid back. They could not work as efficiently as we are right now. So all right, you guys, stay focused on your dreams. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for subbing, and I'll see you later.